Hello traders, John at StockBookie.com. Today we're looking at the SPY, the IWM, the Qs, the DIA, and the IYT. We follow the daily, weekly, monthly timeframes. We use technical analysis here at StockBookie.com. If you like these videos, go to my website, sign up, it's free, or click down here in the bottom right hand corner and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Traders, if you're looking for a new broker, check out CobraTrading.com slash promo slash StockBookie. These guys are the best in the business been using them for over uh, eight years now never had an issue cobatrading.com check these guys out and go into the promo section all right let's see daily chart on the spider we did have 80 million after hours and everything we had about 20 million shares traded after hours on the day we had about uh, 60 million at the close as you can see we're still in this channel here from this uh, upper high to this bottom low we have two trend lines drawn in here and these lines are just for breakouts when it started coming up but overall on the daily chart we're still up sideways starting to move up now still above the uh, 20 the 50 and the 200 moving average we had uh, trump's tax plan out there today so that was help pushing this thing up we're 97 cents up or uh, 0.39 percent on a day so not a bad showing we've talked about this bullish pattern here now the next thing is it going to start moving up to the 252 area because you got the trend line right here so let's pull this out a little bit further let's go about here so figure if it goes up into this area looking at 252 next area 255 and then we'll talk and see what happens from there but first step guys if you're bullish you need to get above this uh the um the upper trend line here or the channel that it's been chopping up and down for a long long time guys but the trend is up it's slowly grinding slowly grinding but it's starting to run out of steam we're into the 10-year bull rally from the highs of 2007 so keep an eye on that one as well down a little bit after hours there was some chatter i believe uh, some lip service after hours that brought it down slightly guys now, you know what not a big deal but still a nice pattern here so let's see if this thing can start popping and start moving into the uh trend line the next area 255 11 or so and then take it from there again nothing wrong guys let this thing play out volume picked up a little bit again 20 million after hours so keep an eye on that tomorrow watch volume the next couple days guys iwm what can i say look at that look at the volume came in nice push up all on news tax reform small business in america unbelievable so this one had a pretty good run guys from 134 to 147 48 or so what was the high today 147.86 so we're up into this area it could go to 150 guys let's see what it gives us uh, in the next couple days or does the volume disappear and then this thing just start chopping around sideways so okay, let's keep an eye on the action tomorrow see if we get some follow through on this with more volume or does it stall out maybe set up sideways maybe for the next pop up but we now did close above this upper trend line we've been talking about for a long long time and let's see what happens i'll be watching this one more on the friday close i want to see if this move is for real we have a couple days left on the week and i want to see the volume on the weekly candle i want to see where the close is and then next week will be the big one for this if this was going to continue up 150 152 50 155 big areas coming up on this one and like i said we did get above this channel here because it's been hitting it hitting it hitting it hitting it here we go weekly chart let's see what the friday close brings right now it's looking uh, a little bit bullish off this uh you know gosh it's been uh, consolidating for almost a year now guys sideways it's a pretty good bullish pattern this thing doesn't giddy up and get going and it clicks and comes right back in we're going down here and we're going to fill this gap so watch this watch this breakout right here if we're going to start moving up or does it click on the weekly and just come right back in or do we set up on the daily to get the next pop up so we're going to watch the daily but the weekly i want to see on friday's close that's going to be important then the following week to see if we get some follow through on the iwm but the volume today was great guys they really pushed it up was it shorts getting squeezed maybe was it uh some of the you know the the sideliners says oh my gosh i'm missing the rally watch out for that this will be on the news tonight 10 o'clock all-time highs for the russell markets are fabulous you got to get in so we don't do that here at stockbookie.com guys monthly charts again you know this thing goes from 2009 without a significant pullback i mean right here wasn't bad but we we need another pullback guys i mean we get the launch here and then uh, let's see if we get up into the 154 area even that's going to be the next area of big resistance as well so watch for that one let's get into the cues all right so getting into the cues daily charts so we've been chopping around i took out some of the uh 
trend lines in here today. I was looking at some other stuff too. We had this trend line down in here. I mean, well, it's holding that. Um, that's a pretty good one for the um, upward momentum. Uh, it's, it's trying, guys. These guys are trying to get this market up. Now they got the IWM leading. Remember the IWM was lagging at 1.2. I was going to say, because there was another. Let's pull this one back. But yeah, you connect these lows. I just want to see if there's anything more you know, significant. This one's not terrible. Let's see if I bring it down a little bit. That yeah, was not bad. But anyways, uh, this one's going for the um, highs again. Let's look at uh, horizontal line up on top. So uh, it's just kind of slowing. It came up, pulled back, went to the line, came up, pulled back, went to this line again, right to the double top, chopping around, double top, fell apart. Now it's retracing here, guys. If you're bullish, you need to get above the 20 MA and you need to close up there. That's going to be key on this one. You got to close above the 20 and then go for the all-time highs. If you can make it past that, the 146, uh, 59 area, then I think you get the 148, 49, then the 150 even number. It looks like everything's trying to make a run for the roses right now. Let's see if this can uh, possibly be a top in the markets. You know, it, it's you had upgrades again across the board on the fangs, guys. Everyone's hopping in those, rotating out of certain ones. Tesla couldn't keep going today. Markets are a little bit um, suspicious to me. Keep an eye on these, especially if you're long, guys. Don't fall asleep. So next thing you know, we're coming right back down here, double bottom. 200 MA, and then we're starting filling some gaps down here. I still think we're going to the November lows down in here eventually. It's just going to take a little bit of time, but if these uh, upward trends start to fail, we're going to go down real real quick, guys. That's why uh, we're adding shorts on the um, you know across the board on all different stocks, especially the high flyers. You got to keep picking on those guys, especially if they go uh, you know 40 bucks to 240 bucks and they haven't had a significant pullback for five months. And it's a monthly chart play. You got to do that, guys. So watch for those plays on stock twits, too. We talk about the high flyers all the time. But the Qs, guys, nothing wrong. He got back above the 50. Um, let's see what this thing gives us in the next couple days. And again, the weekly close is going to be good for us. Volume, though, other than on the IWM, just, just mediocre. Nothing special. Floated up. Lighter volume than usual. $1.29. Markets had a pretty good rally today. And the NASDAQ was up pretty good as well. So got to respect it. But, uh, you know, they keep upgrading all the, you know, the FANG stocks and everything else. Why wouldn't we be up? So watch out for that, guys. You start getting a lot of upgrades at the highs. Oh, yeah, that's that's just uh, makes me think, at least. Let's go back to the DIA, which is the Dow Jones. This one uh, up a little bit today. Nothing crazy. Had a couple laggers on the uh, on the um, in this one today, but uh, but overall still above the 20, the 50, and the 200. We did break above this line, so we had a little bit of a push. We almost got to the 225. We talked about that. We talked about 220, 215, and everything's been playing out with this one. 225 would be next, of course. 230, then 235. Pretty much five bucks every one. This one is consolidating too in a bullish manner, sitting in a bullish manner as well above the, all the MAs. So this has a great possibility to uh, move up into the uh, higher price areas, the 225 to 230. If this does fail and starts to get below the 20 and the 50 in this trend line, and we're most likely coming down here to the, uh, to, uh, you know, there's a little pivot down in here. I like that around 205.86. But ultimately, I believe, was there, yeah, there's a little gap fill right in here, right around 203.63. So stocks love to fill gaps. This one's no different than any other ones. There's still a gap fill up here around the 205 area. So let's see what this thing does on uh, into Friday, next couple of days, into the Friday close. And let's see if they can hold this thing up. I mean, that that's pretty much goes up, sideways, up, retrace a little bit, up. Kind of floats, 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 a little pullback, retraces up, breaks through the all-time highs, gets up there. Now it's going sideways in a bullish manner above the MA, so that's telling me possible higher prices. Again, 225, 230, and then we'll deal with it if it does move up there. It starts to slide through these, and watch for that, where lower prices can possibly come. And of course, you got gaps to fill. Uh, pivot low here around 215. It's not just going to go down unless the market, something happens, you know, maybe North Korea. So keep an eye on that one as well. So... Right now, markets are pretty complacent, just ripping higher. Uh, what can I say? IYT or transports, guys, new all-time highs. This is it. It's down a little bit after hours, but that's probably just a um, just a fake print down there with nobody really trading. Uh, we talked about 177.50, uh, then 180, 182.50, then 185. That's how it works. 
Um, let's see if we can sustain this um, double top though and let's see if this thing will hold on. I'm going to follow this one as well on the weekly chart since we broke above the all-time highs. I want to see if it holds it or comes right back in or does the weekly start consolidate. You still had a nice run from the 162 area to the 177. So let's see if the bag holders here were taking some profits to bring it down. And also here too, you have a lot of people that got in on this side. They got in on this side and these are weeks, guys. And the next thing you know, it goes right back up. It's like, man, you know what? I bought as it was coming up here, 173, held on for dear life. Came back, we're at 177, maybe we get 180, 185. We're going to start dumping and just take our 10 bucks or what have you. So, but again, like the IWM, look at that, up sideways, guys. It's a bullish pattern. Channel above the MAs, this thing should take off. The only problem I have with that, when we're at all-time highs, sometimes they fail, guys. You know, so I, I just can't, um, we'll have to see. You know, we, we made it above the, um, the old all-time high back here, back in 2014, so... We're going to see where this one goes. But, man, it's, it's been a great run. 2009, same thing. 37 bucks to 177 This one had a pretty decent pullback, though. But let's see if we uh, continue up. Not a bad pattern here. I would have liked a little more tighter of a wedge for a monthly. But one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine months sideways. That's a good chance of going up, guys. It's got to stay above here, especially on the weekly. Let's see what happens on Friday's close, and we'll go over all those this weekend. All right, guys, thanks again for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Any questions or comments, send it to me at uh, stockbookie at uh, gmail.com, and uh, hopefully uh, I'm helping some of you guys out there learn how to trade, what to look for, bounce area, support areas, whatever. Long or short, I don't really care. I'm just mostly short right now. We will be long in the markets one day. So, again, thanks for stopping by. God bless. See you on the charts.